<laughs> no Hi, way. Hi, Warren. Hey. You got it, darling, in a big way. Oh, it's never well, too we just early. Woke up. Bubble bath bonbons, you mark? Uh, I'll, I'll go for the bubble bath. You can have the bonbons. <laughs> Doable. Hey, cool. Thanks. All right. Well, now we're hearing ourselves, and the show is off to a spectacular start. It's big. It's huge. This is the first and hopefully annual live radio La Luna cast. Get it together, folks. That means it's live from La Luna. It is a live remote, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't come down. What it you means is that you're down. hearing about it, and you should come down because you're on the edge of what's happening. It's a hot show tonight, way hot. Who's on the bill, Sister Row? Sage. Jolly Mon's opening, then Sage, and then, of course, Hitting Birth. Hitting Birth. It's going to be a spectacular show. We're going to be rubbing elbows with Fun. some of the doers and movers in the local music scene. And we've even got one of them here with us right now, uh, Justin, manager extraordinaire of Club La Luna. Welcome to the Church of Northwest Music. Nice to have you guys here doing a live show tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. There are a lot of people here tonight who are really, really excited about this show. Got a lot of calls about it today. Cool. Who, who came up with the name La Luna? Oh, that's another one of a Chris Monlux, Mike Quinn concoctions, along with Intergalactic Adventures, which is the name of the company, com company and several others. You never know what those guys are going to come up with. It's definitely a Mike Quinn, Chris Monlux idea. And what exactly, the La Luna is like evolved from, uh, we all know about the Pine Street Theater and everything that's gone on here, but right. really, it's, it's, things have really changed and you've got a lot of different things going on with your living room and the coffee shop. Kind of explain. Right, well one of the things they've always focused on in their philosophies is to make people feel really comfortable and have a good time at the shows. You know, very courteous uh, staff adequate security so that people feel comfortable at the shows and we've seen that we've seen people feel that because uh, we've been doing a lot of these dollar shows lower price shows and we've gotten a lot of people showing up recently who didn't know what the bands were they just wanted to come here to hang out and that's kind of the vibe we're trying to give off is you know one of being relaxed and comfortable here people can enjoy the space just come hang out and feel good about it Cool. Now, you haven't been open for very long, and no. I know that this club has been owned several times by different owners, and it right. never really worked, and it seems like it's really working in right. a big way this time. Well, I think they're putting a lot of themselves into it, and they've been doing that over the years, and they've continually grown, and it's a philosophy that I think has worked and will probably continue to work. At least it seems like it will at this point. What do you think the philosophy of rock and roll is, Justin? philosophy of rock and roll is like... It's almost like a drug. It's it's a, it's something that lasts. It's a high energy high that lasts for a couple hours while you're there checking out live music. You go home, you think about it the next day, and it blows your mind that you were that high for a while. Because some of the acts, especially here in town, that we've seen in the last couple months, you know, people leave on a total high, and it's an all natural high. It's from the music. Name names, baby, drop them. Gosh, <laughs> local bands. Pond the other night did 1,100 people. With Heatmeister here. and Motor Goat. Right, amazing show. Yeah. Hazel blew them out here a couple weeks ago, hitting birth about a month ago. All the local bands have been drawing really strongly here. We try to keep the ticket price low so people can come out and see them, and they do. The community's really been backing it up. Cool. Backing it up strong. Great. Yeah. Well, that's who's, a real service man that you're doing to rock and roll. Well, who, who's your favorite dead person? My favorite dead <laughs> Jimmy person? Hendrix, Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. Janice Joplin. I, I'm too young to know that many... Think Dead about people. that. We'll get back to you <laughs> yeah. later Dating in the show. <laughs> Thanks for letting us uh, make a mess of your fine Thank room tonight. Thank you guys tonight. for coming here. We really appreciate it. It's a lot of fun. Cool. People here are going to have a lot of fun tonight. Cool. Excellent. Cool. Hey, if you're listening, you should come down. Five bucks, Hitting Birth, Sage, Jolly Mon. Five bucks. What is that, $1.75 a band? It's a buck two forty to you and me. <laughs> I'm on. Well, we're, we're getting in. close to the start of our show here. Uh, hey, and we, it's an all-star cast. We even have the guy from the, Sweaty Nipples. The guy. The guy. The guy. One of the guys. Davey Nipples is actually Davey here and is going to kick off things shortly, uh, introducing Jolly Mon and kicking off the festivities here. We're up in kind of the crow's nest, kind of overlooking everybody that is... Uh, smelling their favorite incense and uh and that's another cool thing about this club is you can burn incense no other clubs in town let you burn incense i swear to god it's a happening scene have you done a poll on that i have i've tried for years i've tried burning really? incense in they clubs don't and let they you won't do that. let you uh-uh and just one of those things about the portland scene you, you just don't know about it until you listen to the greatest program in the, in the history, history of, of known, known radio. radio dang it that's the church of northwest music Gotta love America. <laughs> <laughs>
and God we're loves still you. waiting for the kids to come out from backstage. Oh man, they're playing hard to get. We must have fed so be- well. Hey, we want to say that Baba Roots came through with incredible food. Peter from Baba Roots, vegetarian cuisine. And that's why the band is not out. That is, that is exactly why the band is not out there back and there Bob's eating the food. And Bob's greatest pizza. What is it? Famous Bob's Pizza. Those guys rule. They wrote little notes on the boxes. And, um... Oh, hey. It's a Kebu sound benefit. Oh, yeah. We should cool. talk about that while okay, we're waiting great. for Dave. Yeah. What, what Mark and I decided to do was to, um, throw a benefit. And it was really great because Jollymon, Sage... And Hitting Birth agreed to do it for no money. La Luna has given us the space so that KBU can raise money so that people coming on our show or any show on KBU don't have to pay to play. Well, they don't have to be inhibited as to not having the right sound gear or the being able to afford the right technicians or bringing in the right special effects and, and if you're or a big microphones band, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And, and to this point, it, it's a little bit kind of like that. Not really, but we want to completely get rid of that situation so that that we can actually have anybody we want come into the studio. Anybody we want come into the studio. And they don't have to worry about uh, the technical aspects right, of bigger coming bands, across like the way the they want to. Like the daddies had to rent stuff. Who was it? The daddies, the aides. A lot of bands have had to rent gear. Yeah. And then also Brother Jay has helped out through... Uh, and Brother Jay's connections. We've used concert sound. We've used... Who have we used? We've used everybody in town, haven't we, Mark? Right. We have uh, Evan Schles with Club Evan Sound. Evan Schles has helped. And uh, we're still waiting. Boy, that must be one heck of a party backstage. I guess, man. There's Brother Jay perusing the area. Hey, Brother Jay, get a life. <laughs> Brother Jay, get a Brother life. Jay without a life, walking aimlessly, drowned in humanity. And we're waving at him that it's okay for the band to come on and play because the Church of Northwest Music has never billed itself as a three-hour Northwest Extravaganza. You know what I'm wondering is, is what part of the movie they don't understand about nine o'clock. It must be in the salsa. <laughs> it is in what the is salsa. It and with the, the salsa, salsa is fabulous. Who who else do we need to thank in regard to that? Um, we need to thank Famous Bob's Pizza, Baba Roots, and we should thank Nature's Fresh Northwest. Okay, then we will. Thanks. Consider yourselves thanked. <laughs> and we're still here at the Crow's Nest. We are. What's happening with Davy from Sweaty Nipples? There, we're a couple minutes away still. Cool. Well, let's we're, go back to Justin and talk about some of the bands that are coming up at La Luna. Who's coming up? Um, actually, the Daddies are going to be playing here on April 16th. They've been doing really well when they've been playing in town. And one of my favorite local bands that I've seen, I've only been here a couple months, but Dow Jones is opening that oh, show. Oh, yeah. And yeah, they're Dow a Jones really, really cool. cool new band. And then on May 1st, um, Heat Miser's record release party, they're on... Um, Frontier Records. Yeah, Frontier Records. Big score. That's a big deal. They've got Flop and the Spinanes, so that'll be a big show. That's a big deal. Whoa, another celebrity hey, whoa, has wandered like up to the crow's This guy won producer nest. of the year, like this twice. This is better than Portland Wrestling. Come I, on I, in. I, oh, my God, the do. The do is the awesome. Do. It's Drew with the do. Drew with the do in a huge truck. You're currently recording Hitting Birth on their new CD. You can talk into the mic, Mr. Engineer. Talk into the mic, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, look, look at those hands. Grab those faders. Or you got to be fast, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doing Hitting Birth right now, then uh, maybe we'll be doing uh, some other stuff with uh, Bill Clinton Friday. Like the Yo. president, Bill Clinton? Is that, is that a yes? Is that a yes over there? It's a That's yes. That's a yes. Yes, it's a yes over the, from the engineering department. Oh, cool. Are you going to do that live thing for KBU, the I national so. link up? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's totally great. We got it live on radio. It's a contract. Yeah, 10% yeah, for yeah. you, darling. This show <laughs> is just phenomenal. <laughs> so now you've... You, for this Hitting Birth project you've been working on, you actually rolled your mobile truck to the Hitting Birth World Headquarters. Yeah, the, the, the ranch, ranch, as they call it. <laughs> and um, kind of we set up there two weeks ago. We've done 10 days of tracking. We have another four days of tracking. And then we're going to spend um, six, seven days mixing, probably more than that, you know, that goes. And then uh, five or six days editing the record together for Will Records. And I'm not sure when it's going to get released, but it's probably going to be before the summer. Now, what label is this one? Is this Real Records? It's a new label out of Tacoma, Washington. Wow, well, who's and, behind uh, this? They just did Sage's record. I think it's called Port. Yeah. And um, this will be their uh, second CD they're putting out. Incredible. 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 Now, what's this? What's the Scooby it's with Jessica. your truck? Sister, Sister Jessica. Who? Sister Jessica. But it's been so long. Am I still me? 
I hope so, so. many stars, <laughs> such a and short program. And I take program. myself with me wherever I go. This is so great that you guys are doing a live broadcast of this. I've been in here since two, suffering, slaving away over the hot lights. This show is going to look so good, and everybody at home should put their radio glasses on. But really, they should all be down here buying tickets and watching this show because the visuals for all three uh, bands uh, are going to be as good as the sound. Uh, hey, here uh, we here go. Comes the and one. Oh, and the lights. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Drew, we'll talk cool. to you. Cool. Hey, bit. thanks a lot, Jessica. If you're still there, come on down. It's going to be a great show. We got uh, Jollymon and Sage and Hitting Birth. My name is Davey. I'll be the guest MC for the evening. Uh, kicking off tonight here, we got Jollyman. So let's hear it for him.
more songs.
for telling on. Thanks a lot. All right, man, it's happening. It's totally happening. It's so cool here at La Luna. And Mark, Charlie Reverend. Mann, give him another hand. Oh, getting really tired. Ah, we're picking up the live sound, man. It's awesome. Okay, man, we need to have a talk. Uh, is a you can call us old men, but uh, this is a La Luna cast. Uh, once upon a time, it was the Pigs. It's a place out here. And it's got kind of a rough name, but both genders can participate. Tonight seems like a really nice crowd that won't take advantage of each other, but we've all been to shows lately where it wasn't this circular thing of kind of togetherness, and it was more like how much testosterone you can elbow into the person next to you, and you know, that's a lot to the, our style of living and music has become big. It's bringing other people in, so I think we need to hip one another, clue people up to what's going on, and then it's, you know, these guys are here to help you, your friends out there are here to participate with you, so don't hurt anybody. And you know, it's, I remember when you'd get like people stacked or it was just tight together and you're moving kind of as one blob. And that is a fuck a lot more fun than getting hit in the head and sucking beer or some idiot jumping in here with boots. You know, barefoot. If you want to jump off there, do it barefoot, you know. I don't think you'll do the same thing, you know. Boots are an insecurity talker. Whatever. It's your scene. It's your scene, and it's going out around the world, so let's send something more than just the sounds. Let's send the vibe, too. Has uh, anyone in the crowd been to an all-ages show? All that? right. That's Steven Spirit giving it up here at La Luna. They're right there, man. They're giving it up. Uh, I'd say... Rodic music could happen here. ...people here, here than Ramblin' Rod has buttons. Opposed to making a statement, you know. Cool. Uh, but that's just the way that that just gives us one more instrument because we are lacking as a three piece. You can only do so much, so voice makes an extra instrument, makes it a four piece basically. So I don't know if there's any bold statements in it, but it's it's just music. So. What a great commitment that you're making to this scene. I mean, I think it's wonderful that you're dedicating your life to play music. It's oh yeah, like, oh yeah, like something I wanted to do vibration. for a long time. Yeah, how yeah. old are you? I'm t well, I'm 22, Brother. almost 23. I had to know, darling. How old I is had he? to know. I gotta know. Hey, I'm not. Hey, I'm not come afraid on, to, I'm we're not off at midnight, bro. <laughs> I'm not afraid to tell people. Babola so. of the Radiola, she's <laughs> yeah. eating the I'm, band members. No, no. Okay, here's the, here's Jeez. the age rundown. Carl is Carl's right here, so. Carl, doable. Carl's 23. Carl, doable. Carl, no. Carl, the guitar player. <laughs> Carl, the guitar player is 23. I'm Greg. I'm 22, and Carrie is 21. So right down the line. So wow. So Love you're talking part. about. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this. I'm like almost 40. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like I'm. You know what I mean? I'm trying to figure out like what year you were like. Right. Coming it, on in. Early 20s. Early, early 20s. 20s. Yeah. So. Cool. What Definitely do you think, cool. bro? Early 20s. Doable. I think doable? it's doable. Okay. I think it's a great sound. I think it's definitely, you know, like my generation was definitely trying to say something, you know, and I think we got caught up in all of the, the bullshit of, of trying to say something, being caught up in a message, you know what I mean? And what I think is interesting about your generation, which I really don't quite understand, and there is that difference, you know what I mean? Is um, like where you're coming from. And I think it's really bold of you to say that you're not coming from anywhere. And that's the message I seem to be hearing. You know, for me, it's kind of zen or existential. You know what I mean? But right. I think it's, I think it's great. Right, right. We just play, but play music. it's, but that, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. all we do is play music, and I hope that people like it. Who inspires you, though? Uh, you mean individually? Yeah, individually um, or collectively. Is there well, a collective it's, it's inspiration? pretty much a mixed bag. That hints, yeah, hints our sound. Yeah, pretty it's, much. I mean, Jimi Hendrix and Pink, Jimi Hendrix and Pink Floyd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But see, Jimmy Craig. was doing it for me, too. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> well see, I guess I grew up on a little bit more newer stuff. I, I, I'm i more along the lines of the police and uh, stuff like that. Stuart Copeland was a big influence on me, drum playing-wise. But And then Carrie, Carrie like, is a big Led Zeppelin freak and a big reggae freak. So yeah, it's, it's a mixed bag, you know. Cool. Throwing a little bit of thrash in there, and you got you got the sound, basically. Jolly mind. Yeah, awesome. you got Jolly Mon. That's great. <laughs> Whether you want us or not. Yeah. No, we <laughs> do, and thank so you, do you so much. That was really thank cool, you. you this guys has been a really great show to yeah, play. Yeah, thanks for coming yeah, down. It's thanks. really now, cool. Now, do you guys have, have, do you have an engineer lined up or anything? An engineer? Drew. <laughs> Drew. Hey, meet oh Drew. Have you met Drew Canulet before? No, I haven't. From Dog hey, this Studios. Like We're going to screw record deal on, the, on air. the radio. <laughs> it's a new segment in our program. It's called Live Schmoozing. This is the guys from Jolly Mon. Oh, 
Oh, really? And this is Drew Canulet. Yeah, Drew, Drew tuned my uh, drums earlier today, made him sound really good for tonight. Uh, so. He did my record. I mean, Drew is awesome. Oh, okay. Okay. He be as old as me. Are we schmoozing or what? We're schmoozing yeah, big well, hey. time. This is it, babe. <laughs> wow. Hey, well, Drew. Thanks for coming killer. down, guys. Thanks so much for doing this sound. Thanks for having us. Oh, no, Jay, Jay, Jay was mixing up everything. Yeah, Jay did the first mix. Jay, 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 Brother Jay. Jay's been doing this sound. <laughs> We you got Drew. Here. Mic there, Drew. <laughs> well, you're never gonna know that we have Drew here. I can't even do a schmooze if they don't even hear your voice. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Work with me, good. darling. Okay, great. No, hey, this is Drew no, from no, Dogfish, no, no, who wins all of the mic, awards no. for Producer of the Year. Awesome, and and does incredible work. And he tuned my drums. <laughs> and he tuned his drums. Yeah. And I tuned his drums, and Jay Bovich did the most amazing mix on that the last band, Jolly Mark. Isn't Jay great? We've, Jay been, we've great. been trying We've been trying to have Jay as much as we can just because uh, he's been doing a really good job. So. He is. He's got great ears. Man. Yeah. Brother Jay. Brother Jay church. slaving over hot equipment. Yeah. Cool. And he's looking so for a mic. Thanks for bringing Thank your truck. Drew Dogfish Drew Studios Drew. gives it up for Kabu. Thanks a lot, Drew, for bringing your truck and doing this sound. That's so cool. <laughs> I did bring my truck around. Uh. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, that's okay, well, Friday. Well, Friday, we're bringing the truck in Friday. Oh, I thought that you were doing a live. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay, Ro. I'm out of the loop. I'm sorry. I had heard I had heard from the ranch, but, but it was you're like a week at ago. La Luna, and well, that's actually, the most the important truck is thing. Still at the ranch doing the Hitting Birth record. As right, you're working on their CD, you know, but I thought so. somehow I thought that you were going to bring it down here and get this live for maybe oh, okay. possible. Can I, can I get this off my chest? Um, but do close to the mic. Okay, get off close your to chest. Mic. This is giving uh, enough. Okay, line. whoever broke into my truck and stole all my equipment, would they please bring it back? No questions asked. No I'd really way. appreciate it. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. No way. Yeah. True. True. True story. When did this True. happen? Oh, well, this happened about a month ago outside Concert Sound Warehouse, you know, over on 28th and Ash. No way. I had oh, no yeah. idea. God, am I out of the loop. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's the way it goes. So what what kind of equipment are we looking for? Oh, they, they took a friend of mine's <laughs> guitar amp and a nice tube microphone of mine and a bunch of anvil cases. Filled you know, with wire and stuff. It's like, like so amazing that people appreciate music so much, but they rip it off. Do you notice that? It's like they'll love bands and steal their guitars. It doesn't make sense to me, but it's been going on for a long time. Well, well the bad news is, is that that guitar rig Kurt Cobain played through, and if you don't return it, Courtney Love is going to move into your house and live with you. Ooh, threats. Loving it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, well, ooh. on that note, I think we should r remind everybody what what the whole Aluna cast is all about. Thanks, Drew. Thanks, Thanks You're a beautiful. lot, you guys. Hey, you guys are great. Thanks so Thanks. much. Thanks, it sounds Jolly like it's gearing back up Watch out us. for the chairs, guys. Whoa! Whoa! Hey. It's the LaLuna um, cast. Let's remind everybody, the whole point of doing this LaLuna cast is that it's a fundraiser so that we can get some more gear at KBU Radio to God, help our engineering staff that. because we have, like, some incredible people working as engineers at this station. Oh, yeah, and, and Brother Jay is one of them. Brother Jay is the unsung Brother hero. Mike is no Mike slouch himself. Mike Johnson, who was here for 12 hours yesterday, and... Uh, we should say KBOO Portland. KB. Uh-oh, you're listening to KBOO. It's a live La Luna cast right here um, next to the KB Studios. It's like community radio at its finest. It, it certainly is, and one of the, one of the whole spiels of this hopefully first annual La Luna cast is that we're, tr we're raising money to help the engineering department so that we can get some more gear to help out the, basically the local music community so that they can sound better on KBOO because KBOO, quite frankly, is the only station that truly plays, talks about, and supports the local music community. You're right. Not, not any one aspect. I mean, not the jazz community or the blues community or the rock community or the soul community. We're talking the holistic Portland music community. And the more gear we have, the better that we can serve Oh. Our listening audience and we help are out so bands. Uh, we are, we are, we are absolutely a tremendous thing. <laughs> ooh, baby, ooh. Well, we I mean, you know, what what can we say? Somebody has to be tremendous, and we we walked into the park. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh God, I'm so. That's great, Mark. I'm really. Well, we are the greatest program in the history them. of known radio. Hi, and we're waving it at Dave. Dave and so Darling, he's going to come out and me. introduce Sage, who's driven all the way down from Seattle. That is so cool. You know, I really think this CD fork looks really hot. Here oh, we go. God. Here's Dave. Here we are.
get ready for Sage. Ooh, this is really cool, isn't it, Mark? <laughs> I, I wish we could do this every Sunday. I really, I truly do. It's great to see all these. Uh, I know we've been having it so cool. I mean, we get brand bands totally to ourselves, and now we're sharing them with what? Look at all the people here. I know it's awesome. I wonder if there's any TV programmers listening. This is like the church too, kind of that overview thing, like where you're in the balcony of the church or something. Do you feel that way? Everybody below would be like the pews. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna, and we're the gospel choir. You know what I mean? But like, we're not really the gospel choir. The people on stage are, but we're bringing them. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, we'll have confessional after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting ready. All right. All right, Sage. On the church. Tuning up and everything. Live on the radio. Get a grip, kids. Watch those TV sets closely. Put your glasses on, boys and girls. And it's still not too late to come on down, donate $5 and catch. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people here, but there's still room for you, and we need your money. Still have hitting birth coming up after Oh, Sage. God, hitting birth, man. You got to get here soon, too, because you don't want to miss these guys. These guys are awesome. You just missed Jolly Mon. You know, about five bucks. I mean, hitting birth and Sage. I think the drummer's working. ready. Cool. Good lights, too, by Jessica, Sister Jessica. Sister Jessica, doing it up. Up. Oh. There goes the guitar. Hey, we up. were Ooh. The drummer's up. Up. You'd love it if you could see it, boys and girls. They're like walking on stage. We got they had the wrong colored m and This is so much more visual than at the station, Mark. It certainly is. <laughs> I've, it's I've, like I'm absorbed in being here. This is the first time like I really visualized. Live. And not only, it's like I feel more live than I normally feel on Sunday And This nights. is the first time I've actually seen the band walk off the stage and, and not actually know what's going on. Wow, that's intense. It's, what a set! What? <laughs> what a Whoa, set! Sage gives it up. You well, guys. anyway, we were you talking guys. about how cool it was that Michael Johnson, Michael Johnson, Mark was here for something like 18 hours yesterday, doing the women's show, and here he is once again doing another one. I mean, it's like volunteer extraordinaire, and you know all the people that are like bringing us. I get paid. Oh, that's right, he gets paid. It's me that's getting burned. Wait a minute. Oh. Confessions on the church. I'm eating it. He's getting paid. Sister Jessica, what's up, do you know? Well, we're waiting. They should be ready to go on uh, here they any come. minute now. Ooh. They're back. And, you know, the first band, Jolly Mon, sounded so good, and they looked so good, and Sage is going to sound and I was just great. smoothing your lights, darling. I just oh. said Sister Jessica did the lights and, like, how hot it looked. I was even saying, we've got a couple of red ones, yellow, purple, Actually, white. I didn't do Jolly Mon. They have their here we go. I, care. I don't think I ever knew. I'm ooh, just ooh, doing ooh. hitting birth. We're starting right. up. Cool. But I just Cool. Jessica's
is the mind god of death. We're in the age of the destroyer. But let's not destroy each other right here, right now.
I would like to address the male counterparts in the pit. Could you guys mellow out? So everybody can move, all right? Yeah. 
Grab your partner now, this is a waltz. Thank you very much.
china doll before the factory
You're listening to KBOO live at La Luna. This is the ever fabulous La Luna cast. Oh. Ooh. It's live. They're tuning up. This is Sage from Seattle. You're listening to KBOO 90.7 FM in Portland, 100.7 FM in. Where is it? Corvallis. And 92.7 FM in Hood River.
Hello, goodbye, this is our last song. have a CD out if you want to get one. It's at the Ooze and Locals only. Thank you very much, Hitting Boys. Thank you very much, Hitting Boys. All right. All right. You're here live at La Luna. This is the La Luna cast. That was just Sage, an incredible band from Seattle. Just Sage. Just merely Sage. Wow. Not merely Sage. I think they're great. Their new CD is awesome. I just got a t-shirt, so I'm, like, totally happy. And not only that, but we have David Parks here with Hitting Birth. David, thanks so much be for being here Oh, tonight. I know. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> I wish you were here. Yeah, it's so cool that, um, that you guys have agreed to do this. It's a wonderful thing you're doing for Cable. And, you know, the, the amount of respect you have from the other bands and the combination of these bands is really amazing. It's really beautiful. I know, it's it just shows sort of the diverse uh, uh, community amongst the Portland alternative, so-called alternative scene itself. It's not just uh, 
distortion pedals and uh does that word alternative bug you as it as much as it does me uh i i prefer to use the term alternative i don't think we can include the all yet but we're working on it <laughs> Oh you are gosh! On the radio. We're <laughs> live on the radio. It must be one of those sweaty Sweaties nipple guys. In the house. <laughs> oh, step on up. Step on in. Have have you a word. Talk closer. <laughs> anyway, getting back to the whole alternative thing. I just every time I hear that word alternative, I just I just cringe because I'm going alternative to what? I mean. People but you know it is it is an alternative scene. I it's think like, I think things are changing. I think I'm a little more optimistic than I was say three years ago. Really? I think uh, we've come a long way. I, like I said, I'm not ready to include the all in the alternative because we got a long way to go on that. I mean, you threw a great show yesterday for and about women, and no one showed up. So I, I don't know if that's you know. I know that hurt my soul in a big way. It blew me out. It blew me out because we had Native America. I mean, we had everything. I was stunned. I was stunned myself. But but then well, you know I see this, and today Portland. it inspires me. I'm healed again because I'm looking at this and I'm going, here is this message that's being made. I mean you know, I mean definitely you're right. The alternative thing. I mean it definitely it needs hurts. To expand, but and I but think it's we good. Will but, do that. And I think that you guys might be pioneers of that. I think that this particular I trio. Hope so. I hope. I hope every individual out there becomes a pioneer of it himself and really doesn't like uh, put any sort of one person or one thing in, in the way of that or, or their own creativity because I think we're all important and, and one thing I would like to break down is I, I hate the fact that we're all sort of pushed around to other parts of the country to think that a music scene or a creative scene is always happening somewhere else. I've lived in a lot of states in this country, and I can say that there's a creative community amongst all the states of this country, and I think we should break down the walls of regionalism. All right. That's it's easy great. for us to call it the Northwest and just keep it at that, but I think there's a lot of stuff and a lot of people who have something to say all around the country and the world, and I think it's time to open those doors. I, I think so as well. Do you, you don't buy into the fact that there may be power spots or certain areas that are hot for specific reasons, it seems? I, uh, I don't like know. I think, I, think, I think the creative energy is just out there anyway, and, and people can tap into it or they can't. Do you I think, think that that's the healing of the planet this particular time, that maybe like everybody everywhere tapping into their own creativity? you got and to. So, yeah, you got to. you got to or die at this point. Uh-huh. How long have you been in Hitting Birth, David? Uh, I think... Four years. Uh huh. And you guys are working on a new CD, which is kind of exciting. Why don't you tell us about that? Uh, well, it's it's being done at our home, and that's something we've always wanted to do. Uh, what a creative! I mean, that must be really yeah. Good it is. For it helps out a lot to be able to like go up and lay in my bed when when I'm not needed or anything like that. You know. Yeah. Just have all my energy around and the cat and uh, my water fountain, my refrigerator. And, Cool. It's a more natural environment, yeah. so your creativity is always as sterile. I know studios are like really sterile. Yeah, and that's where we've created everything from. You know, Hitting Birth started in that house and in that basement. So, you know, Hitting Birth is like one of it's an evolving creation. It seems it's it's got a reputation for constantly you know changing and, uh -huh. and going through evolutions and stuff. Well, it's it's not really like set out and planned that way. Uh, the individuals themselves come in and, 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 you know, things don't work out from a particular time for whatever reason. But uh, we keep a close communique of everyone who's ever been a part of the band, of which there's been at least 25 members of Hitting Birth. Yeah, I think that's day. what's cool is that they're, they're, it's so outreaching and there's still this uh, kinship or whatever that's hot. And, and Sage and Jollyman, what's the story with Sage and Jollyman? Now, you're going to be on the same label as yeah, Sage. Yeah, Will Records. Will Records, uh-huh. Yeah, Jollyman, we played with in Eugene like last year, I think, and we've played a, a lot of shows with them in the last year. Sage, we saw them on a Monday night at Satyricon. Speaking of Satyricon... Cool. There are like a few institutions in this town that are really worth supporting that really keep up the... Uh, are basically the backbone of the alternative community in Portland, and I'd like to, to say thanks to those. And the one thing is Escape from New York Pizza. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Concert Sound. Also, can we say that Escape from New York Pizza's co-owner, Bob, has a new place called, um, what is it? Bob's. Bob's, yeah, but it's Bob's something pizza. else. 
world famous bobs or fabulous bobs? Fabulous with, bobs. That's Broadway? in my neighborhood. Yeah, it's the 13th and Broadway. Just opened it up and they gave us okay, a bunch of pizza. Okay, Concert Town. Oh, Satyricon. Thank you, George. And the bob. The, what's that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Those sweaty oh. nipple guys. They, sweaty they nipples know, uh, getting shy on us. <laughs> who, who do you who do you want to say? Come on, talk, man. Talk it up. Say hello to the people. Say hello. Identify yourself, darling. I'm David. My name is David. With? Two Davids and I'm a, we're, we're Davids. I'm in Sweaty. He's in Hattingworth. And there are several great things here in Portland, too, such as X-Ray and Satyricon and La Luna, all that great stuff. Cool. But what about pizza? Pizza's good. Pizza's great. <laughs> and Baba Roots. we got to thank Baba Roots. Oh, I mean, for the night. Food, yeah. Food, food, <laughs> yeah. Something was lovely. Oh, we got Cable Pledge, Pledge Drive coming up soon, right? Yeah, Cable Pledge Drive. Cable is really important, don't you think? Oh, I mean, Cable, not only is Cable, speaking of, oh, speaking of regionalism, <laughs> I think uh, I'd like to see, uh, one of the things I would like to get involved with is raising a lot of funds for Cable to be the one to break the regional report. Because I think that if we hung our big dish up, we could communicate stories from this part of the country all around the planet, and we should be doing so. We have a lot of issues right in this part of the sector of the country that affect the whole world and the whole world should be hearing about them. are you talking about like no on nine I'm and talking no on nine I'm talking ecology I'm talking it's all happening Talk here closer to the talking life we're talking life pretty much you do you need to get down and yeah I gotta go play hey Thanks David we want to thank you so much for your contribution okay, to the church here, and to your five bucks to K-Boo, man. K-Boo. become a member Okay, now we're going to have to All right. step up. Come on, David, step David, up. David. All right, yes, fine, fine. Now, are you, you're looking for a drummer? We're looking for a drummer. Well, you know, free one ads right now on KBU. Okay, we're looking for a drummer <laughs> who, like, is, uh, uh, I don't know, whoever wants to play. Just call <laughs> us. We love it. It's fun. What's going on with Sweaty? Sweaty's uh, playing a lot every day and hanging out and having a great time and trying people out and... Uh, it's a very fun thing. It's kind of weird. Everybody, Changing everybody people plays is different. always so bizarre because it's like part, it's like a, We haven't done it know. that much, but it's a fun thing. Well, How many times have you done it? Ooh, uh, baby, ooh. I don't, I don't know. There's probably been eight, nine people in the band. Yeah. We've been together for six years, so six years. In so May. drummer, that's like the spiritual leader kind of in a way of the band. Well, it's a ritual, thing, at least know? in a rhythm sense. I don't, yeah. Well, right, we yeah, don't get yeah. too spirit, Well, no, but I mean, we you jam, like. Okay? We jam, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Lose it, lose it. Sorry. Were you being we, creative, we darling? We hit things Were you using uh, very nicely. License? And, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm bad. You don't have to be sorry. We hit things really hard. I don't know about spiritual things, but anyhow. Yes, we're looking for a drummer, and it's fun. We do have Brian playing drums, so we're not out of commission, and we're still playing. Where are you playing And next? we're playing a lot. I don't know. I don't get our, I, I just get... They tell me I go and I go, you know. Wow. <laughs> never where, have itineraries. Where do you go? Steve Gruger, your manager, get your. Who is it butt that's controlling there. your life? Who are they? My manager and and. What's uh, his number? Let's call him up on the phone. His number is two three five. <laughs> ooh, 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 it'll nine work. five nine oh, zero. <laughs> oh no, my God. Oh, that's my number. That is my. For number. a good time. Let's practice God. pad. Dave wants. We have a new pad. We love it. It's great. We practice a lot. Everything's cool. So is it, a, is it a democracy? Is it like, is the creative, is there anybody who's like... We fight over everything. Wait, wait, wait. Who's the biggest play, fighter? Every, like, did we, you pay to come in here? Well, I have no, no money. No, don't sweat You want to check my pocket? Check my pocket. <laughs> I played last night, so now I have money to buy beer. And tomorrow I'm waking up, and I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my... No, the first my thing My $13 is- I have left from playing last night, and I'm going to buy $10 worth of grocery, and I'm going to spend the extra three in the bar. That I have tonight. Cool, that's responsible. What a stud. Well, whatever, you know, I'm not making a statement. I'm just having a fun time. So absolutely no statement with Sweaty and, and well, like I David Parks. Oh, well, we can make a statement, but I just don't I don't feel like statements, man. Like alternative <laughs> statements, whatever. It's all great. Oh, the I A love word. It. <laughs> alternative. Oh. We love it. We love it all. Oh. Ask, ask me something. I'm not witty enough for you. Uh, no, you're you're Fire away, witty. amigo. What, uh, what's the last thing you did in the record? What happened to the nasty mix thing? Oh, what's God. this? Get li- fill us well, in. Well, call this number. Okay, I mean they. You they call went our manager. He will tell you. Oh, well, they went, man. They were very. Uh, 
They went bankrupt, I Welcome guess. Welcome to the music business. <laughs> no Amen. Way. Crazy eight. Hey. We all know. Been We're there. We've, working. We've all starved. You want to ride on that roller coaster? So uh, why? I am trying. I'm selling tickets. I mean, I got another <laughs> 10 years left. How old I mean, are you? I'm 24. Rhonda, 20 there foot. you go. Well, no, it's just interesting. Yeah, I'm part of all of the music. It it's just interesting <laughs> to know. I know. It's really fun. Everything's great. <laughs> we played here about two weeks ago or something. And you had a huge it was crowd. Great. It was a sweaty crowd. It was fun. It was a lot of new people. And I felt great. I love it. And we play all the time. We play every weekend. And I'd like to play more. So if anybody is out there and wants to do a gig, tell me. And that's Give them uh, your what number I one more for. time, that's darling. That's what I do. We're more like Van Halen as to Dinosaur Jr. or, <laughs> or some spiritual thing. No, but no, spir great, nothing man. spiritual about sweaty. Huh? No, we're spiritual. Sure, we are. I don't know. What is it? Are we spiritual? Sure, they drink spirits. Of yeah, course, yeah. you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we spiritual? I don't know. There got there has to be some magical thing about these these boys I play with. They're so I don't know. I lock in with them. You know, I lock in with them. What's your chronology like? Like, what what are other bands that you've been in? I've been in one other band, Spastic Blur. What was that? That like? was it. That was like an experiment. It was great. <laughs> and it was a blur. Fun, fun, fun. And it was all, our motto was, if you're serious, you lose. And then we took it to Sweaty. And Whose motto is? Sweaty's motto is. If you're serious, is, you lose. We still have to be drunk Boy Scouts. That's pretty much it. Just like club, you know, good thing. Have fun. Cool. We're we want to thank We're, you for coming in and sharing, you know, like your insights I guess I just this. don't, you know, I just... <laughs> What? You're cool. Am I being you off the it. air? You got it together. Are, are you guys sending me off the air? No. no. Are, are, are sending you off the calls? air? Are we doing what? This are you guy doing out here? Six? The guy with the hook? Oh my God! We no. have a new singer. J Jazz There's the no hook. guy with the hook. Who's your new That's singer? Snotty Scotty. It's from oh. London. Snotty Scotty. Guy from England. We got him in. <laughs> he's awesome, <laughs> and uh, he's not got too much of an English accent, but uh, we're a bit different. Your intro threw me there. Yeah, we're. <laughs> Changing, change, change is good. Six years, change man. It's about good. time. Yeah. Gotta change. Oh. Kick some, no, some butt. That's it. Wow. Mark, ask me a question. I came up here. Someone told me that they well, wanted someone what to was talk. the name? What was the name of the release that didn't come out? I mean, what's gonna there happen? There was no name. You, for no, the well, you guys, you did it was this sweaty like, nibbles. Dude, you and we're guys, gonna do a new one. You got, you know, you got. No, no, listen to me. I'm asking okay, you a question. You got like the hype machine working for you. You got the big shot engineer producer guy. Drop Kelly, his name. Kelly Gray. And who did he man. work with? Who's he worked with? Drop some names. He worked with, uh, you know, you're thinking Rick Parsher. And he did P Jam. Well, Pearl Jam. Is, Temple yeah. of the Dog. Soundgarden. Well, did, changed all those bands. And didn't he work but with But he did you? not work with us. He only did one song. He oversaw it. It was he his only studio. He did one song? Yeah. Or three oh. songs. Two songs. What was it like? What Probably was the song like? Was it a good thing? What? Does he have like an edge? Is his producing style like a Kelly total Gray edge? is nuts. Kelly Gray is really cool. Stays up really late. Drinks a lot of coffee. Plays great guitar. Uh, is really good with uh, technical things. Did you communicate well with him in the creative? Yeah, process? Kelly is great. He's kind of a know-it-all, but he's great. You know, I don't know. Do I sense a little like frustration little bit, there, darling? You know, I don't know what the. Well, what, no, I, I, I want to get to the meat of the matter. What, you so what up happens? An edge you of record creativity. this thing. Do you guys buy it back? Does it I guess we gotta buy it back. You know, I uh, the only thing I do, and it, it, it's much easier now. You is talk that, so well. No, it's the truth. It's like I go to practice and I play, and then now I live with the band, so my bills are paid, and I don't have to do anything as far as that shit goes. I don't know anything about business, anything about nasty mix, anything about record labels, but. But you Our manager do does know, and he, I trust him, and that's all that matters. Beautiful. Cool. We gotta make a new record. We gotta get, we gotta make some some kick-ass rock and get out there. Life ain't nothing but a party, and it ain't over yet. I swear it, and this is the truth. When we get new people, other more people, and we'll just keep jamming. Man. Are you feeling insecure because you're going through this transition? No, man. This is the best thing that ever happened. It's like, well, no, not the best. It's a, it's another great thing that happened. Yeah. It always no scares me. Change, I think, music, is scary. Man. Hold, hold. We keep playing. Really good. We whoa, love whoa, it. whoa, 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 whoa. Everything's Tim cool. Tim Tubb is here. Come on, you got to tell us a story. You gotta we got tell. a quick story oh, before hitting birth. Oh, God. Hitting birth is coming on real quick. These guys, the Crazy Eights, are back in town. They just got on the road, just got off the roof. I mean, it's like very hour almost. 
directly off the road. Can I speak? Is this what I speak on? That is the one you're speaking on in your life. Great, the darling. excitement. I'm just overwhelmed. Tell us what happened. You were telling me this fabulous story earlier. Well, okay. I'll it's got to be I'll quick. Take... It's got to be quick. Okay. All right, we're in, we're in Sun Valley. We were playing there on Thursday night. John McEnroe was on the, um, is in attendance. He's in the house. We say, you know, he comes John back. McEnroe. Said, yeah, John McEnroe. Yeah, John McEnroe. Everybody knows John McEnroe. The tennis McEnroe. player, of course. Okay, of course. he comes back backstage. John's enjoying the night, um, perhaps a bit too extremely, uh, considering <laughs> his, <laughs> his present uh, domestic John circumstance. Yeah, anyway, he's he's in a kind of a challenging mood. Anything to pimp, anything to anything to forget. Oh my and, god! Um, he, he challenges <laughs> he saw him the nearest. In a desperate moment. In a desperate moment, he challenges me to a chin-up contest. Oh no way! True enough. True enough. And he pops off nine, and I, I haven't done chin-ups in a while. I admit, I, I got off nine, and I get about halfway up, and that tenth one started to hurt a whole lot, and he helped me up to that tenth one. I, I, I almost didn't want to say that, but I'm taking, I'm taking the victory flag anyway. John McEnroe gets the silver in that one. <laughs> Just Yo! because. Look who's here. Oh my God. It's uh -oh. Celebrity no Night Extreme. Oh, oh my God. It's, it's incredible. Celebrity abundance. I, I've told my story. I'm getting out. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. Hey, I'm, Clint, I'm really excited. I mean, this is, uh, I mean, uh, I see in this crowd tonight the uh, the humble acorn from which the mighty oak grows. Lord you know, have mercy. Uh, I see uh, potential for, to bring your station up to snuff. I listen to you guys Sunday nights. That Me is so and cool. a whole bunch of other folks. That is so and, cool. Uh, the, the thought of doing this, this, the whole simulcast thing, you know, is, I think it's really exciting. And if you guys get the technology to do it right, wow. You well, know, we I think got it's, it's one of those kind of things that brings a town up that notch or two or five into contender status. We've got know? the two cans. And this is or a not just a town. I, should, I shouldn't say a town. I should say, a, I should say an area. An area. We're covering a spread here, yeah. Ooh, baby, ooh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and well, too, may I say. <laughs> Oh, God, this is so cool. You know what's cosmic that we opened the show with the Crazy Eights? And I just want to say that I totally respect the Eights, man. Wow. It's so cool to see these bands. And these bands, I mean, it's like they're coming on to what it is, and, and they've got some really incredible stuff to say. Yeah. But you guys have been doing that for, like, how long? Ten years? Eleven years? Oh, ouch. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> Some, something painfully long like that. Yeah. But, I mean, no, but, that's that's not something well, to say ouch about. That's, oh, no. like, incredible. I'm happy to, I, 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 you know, to be a professional trombonist, Playing original music, uh, that's something that, wow, I, I mean, I, I feel really privileged to be able to do that and, and to play in an area that supports live music that way, especially considering the, the way outside forces have uh, perhaps um, coalesced lately, I, I think, to, to uh, be anti-live music. Um, oh, it's yeah. Really, it seems, it's, I think it it's really just great that people still come out and people are still willing to see um, stuff, that, stuff that I think matters. You it know? does matter, and, and I think uh, it's really cool that you're willing. To, I know it's really hard being a musician. I mean, that's like a really hard road, and you've got to believe. I know in you what know that too. <laughs> <laughs> God, do I know that? Yes. But I don't know it as much as you do. I mean, I'll, I'll, ah. I'll you know, you beat me too, darling. John well, McEnroe, you got me on the floor. The, I'm pinned. Believe it. <laughs> so, I mean, no, it doesn't look that a, way. But it's seriously, that decade hand. of dues I've been paying. You know, you start <laughs> yeah. to get tough after a while. Oh yeah, man, you I to, totally respect it. You know, like it. I feel like I feel like the 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 road in music is so often similar to banging your head up against a brick wall, you know? Sometimes that brick could give, you know, that one in 10,000 <laughs> yeah, brick but will, for that will break yeah. before your head. Yeah. You know? But you get to a point when you don't really feel anything anymore, and I think that's what <laughs> that's comfortably I'm at right numb? now. It's comfortably numb. Ooh, yeah. ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh, so ooh. We're, uh, I, I love the smashing at this point, I'm, yeah. I, and I still think that, you know, that brick is going to give. Of them, course it is. You know? yeah. Of course it yeah. is. I mean, just, you know. it's like building and building. Big buildings don't come down. It only takes like one. It's like one minor shift to right. throw something. Well, we've off. been building that foundation yeah. for a long time. Well, no, but you That's know, also a it's deep, a momentum a thing. A deep ass building. We're talking 12 stories deep. World Trade Center deep. <laughs> <laughs> and you should be proud. <laughs> no, you should, man. I totally uh, respect it. It's, it's cool. I'm getting excited for hitting birth. Man. I know yeah, they're I saw coming them last up. year at, um, at the Mayor's Ball, which I guess. There's some fiasco involved there that I'm sure you guys have ammo to talk about for months on that one. Oh, God, yes. But as far as... I don't think uh, we need to mention that Vera Katz got nominated for the Butthead Award of the Year <laughs> at PDXS. And she's well, got our vote. And looks oh. aren't, Ouch. aren't everything. But, oh! Um, I was... Ouch! No, last year, 
I was, you, know, you guys know that local actor Matt Clark, right? Yeah. He's a character actor. Yeah. Really good guy, uh -huh. right? A music fan. And uh, Matt and I were actually trying to scarf up the last food in the in the uh, lounge <laughs> and uh, ended up close to Hitting Birth. It's his son's favorite band. So um, we went and caught it, and I was just... Uh, the acoustics of the place were absolutely terrible. They had them in a spot that was uh, very... Um, uh, World Trade Center garage looking. Yeah. It was, you know what I'm talking about that. Oh yeah, is that, that little that place? Yeah, it was the it's the concrete. Was it the alternative ball area? No, it was just, just the, last year, right? Yeah, just last year. Yeah. What, anyway, what? it was terrible acoustics. It's and, yeah. uh, but the, but the the van was rocking and the people were rocking and the atmosphere was right and and uh, that's what matters, you know, in a situation like that when everybody's crashed in. It's not so much, you know, whether the echo is five seconds too long, but whether people are, are are hammering and that moment for me when I got in there I, I felt that you know I mean what I heard <laughs> is was not their fault and what I saw was live you know awesome. and that's what I, th I think it's moments yeah. like that when you can overcome yes. you know uh, ob all obstacles and still have a hell of a gig and that's the only time I've seen these guys and so I'm like I'm open tonight it's gonna be like a special deal and I'm off Hey, thanks hey, so much. Hey, I want to say real fast, the icing on our La Luna cake is Tony Hansen, Hollywood oh, Star. Oh, special. Hollywood in. Star. God. Yeah. Hi, Tony. Thanks. Hey, and he's Good been evening. humbly working the door. God bless your merry soul. Hey, got to do that KBU support thing. Now, now you guys, uh, you're the manager of Dub Squad, and you both won Best Band, didn't you? You shared the award this year. It was a split. Yes, exactly. With and hitting at some point, cool. we want to do a show together, and I think that would be quite a while. Oh, that would bring him. That would be awesome. That would be really fun. Any evil from either band. <laughs> All right, hitting birth live right here. That was a nice, a nice pun there. Yeah, I've worked hard. I, uh, yeah. All right, Tony. So you got this movie coming out. Give us the yes. schmooze. Give us well, the. Well, it opened up Friday. It's uh, very exciting. We saw. Uh, I saw it a while ago for a theater and I'm showing for theater owners, but it opened to the public uh, Friday night. People really seem to enjoy it. The band looks great, and um, it looks like we're about coming up for the next show. But it's a really exciting opportunity for the band. Three songs off their last CD are in the movie. Three different scenes, so you really see them good. Uh, at Key Largo, uh, and it's just a fascinating thing to see Portland on the big screen. In and a big way. God, yeah. that is so cool, Tony. So. I'm so glad that you guys did that. Congratulations. Thank I you. Think, I think it gets it all out there, you know? It's amazing. Hey, we did really well tonight. Don't you think this is an amazing little thing, a La Luna cast? Oh, it is wonderful, and the crowd has been just incredible. It's, it's huge. It's like over 400 people. Excellent. And uh, very supportive of everything, of KBU and, and of the bands. And what fun. This, I know. You guys are have a great show. And if you're out there listening, you should still come down because there's a lot going to be happening. Oh, there is. And it's only five bucks we saw. Jolly Man, Sage, and now Hitting Birth. Hitting Birth is coming right up. Oh, that's incredible. So it's going to be good, good fun. Great. Cool. You're listening to KBOO 90.7 FM right here in Portland, your the only community radio station. And it just so happens that the greatest program in the history of known radio you are is so taking humble, up the Mark. space right now in a big way you know i mean we don't want to crowd in and take too much of your space but we don't mind saying that in fact you are listening to the greatest program <laughs> in the history <laughs> of known radio reverend reckless Hitting being humble Ooh, mark just fell off the aisle all right live Yo. on the church Hitting birth. thanks tony Thanks, Tony. All right, this is exciting.
more than radio. It is the nervous system of the Valley of Paradise. Now to anoint you from the Hitting Birth family. Hitting Birth.
having a hypothetical question. Right there. Thank you. All right. Larry Hittingberg. Nice and so are you. In part. Welcome. I'd like to ask you all to dance simply so that others may simply dance. And have a good time. And don't be hurting each other, okay? Thank you. We'd like to thank Kebu for letting us play. That's a good thing you got going on there. And uh, I'd like to thank all the sponsors. Famous Bob and Famous Bobs and Baba Roots and all those other Bob sponsors. Thank you. We're going to play a new song we haven't really played yet. And... Uh, we're, uh, we're currently recording for a new record right now. And so look for that right around June. And this is one of the new songs. It's called The Fever Dream.
Thank you. Time for a piece of pie. Would anybody like a piece of pie? Okay. We'll give you some pie here. This is the pie song.
while we tune our instruments. Okay. This one's www. You guys all right? It's the last day of spring break, isn't it? They're back to school tomorrow, huh? Well, some of us do.
Thank you. This next song is called Blue Skin. We'd like to invite a couple of our friends to come up here and play with us, if they don't mind playing. Who we got? Sage, Image, Jaleman, Keith, you in the house? Come on up. Do y'all know Shannon from Image? Friends joining each other on stage. Friends joining each other in the streets. More and more it's time if we don't take our own little community, it'll be taken away. Mean Brothers putting bills on the ballots, the ballots, OCA and the rest, and the names don't matter because it's the people that give you the stairs on the bus. The people that look at you with contempt. Don't resist them. Don't be angry. Have compassion. A friend said tickle them. Because the times are coming, wars never pretty, and smiles are the highest bargaining chip.
This is a fairy tale song. It's about a, a land where not so far away where there was a, a king and a queen who out of wedlock produced a wonderful child. This young princess grew up to be a very beautiful woman. And they wanted to get her married so that she would carry on the family thing. See, she wasn't so into that. She wanted to love who she wanted to love. This is a story about that. She wants to love the 